Okay, let's go back in through. So I'm not a big fan of the that. Uh, Wander? Yeah, give me a second. Sorry, I'm trying all the weapons that we never uh that we didn't really use to see if I like them or not. Oh, the black tear, Odvar, hope to protect the anointed against whatever lay beyond the gate. Okay, well let me give him the heart. And this alternate playthrough. Have you the heart? I do. Astounding. I am uncomfortably in your debt. I will rectify that. But first, the Akari were not wrong, you know. You, O oh Traveler, have ushered in the Age of Reconstruction. Long have I waited for this moment, for the chance to renew this world under my strong guiding hand. Oh, he has Skull under there. Long have you slept and sustained me. Though all others have forgotten, I have not. On this day, I deliver you. And together, may we forge a new and greater civilization. A new era has begun. You have done well, child, and my debt to you will be repaid. As you have saved my world, so may you save your own. Or at least, may you die bravely. Cool. So, you're going to want to equip that. Yep. Oh, Riven. It's effectively the scythe, but, but so much better. Their version, yeah. Man, you just swim in uh, trait points in this game, by the way. Traits. What's this new trait that we have here? Uh, back? I don't see the trait. Or was that a... um? That wasn't a trait. That was a thing that you apply to So Riven a is a weapon. Riven is a weapon. I, I just gained a trait point. But the thing that he gave... Wait, what was the other thing that he gave us? He didn't. He didn't give it just to a, us? Just a trait point. I I thought I saw some kind of weird trait. Not a trait point, but an actual trait that was supposed to be added to our... Oh, you also got the key. The key? But it didn't look like an item that was a key. I... I think we got we got swindled. There was eh. definitely something else that he It was you know how the traits have the like mother's blessing, quick hands, keeper's yeah, blessing, whatever. The only one there I was could one... think of would be Kingslayer. Well the thing is I saw he he showed me something, I forget what it was called, but it looked like someone's head viewed from the side, anointed in prayer or something. Oh, glutton? No no no, it wasn't glutton, it was something else. Let me check the trait list. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Catalyst. S status effect proc chance? Is that something good to put points into? Maybe. There's, I think they added some more traits here, by the way. I don't recognize some of these. Here, I want to show you the one that I thought he was supposed to give us. That's it? Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, doesn't seem to be on the list. Apparently there's a trait that reduces friendly fire damage. <laughs> but 
But you only get it after being down 10 times as a result of it, which is... Oh, being down? Wait, so we were going to have to shoot at each other to down each other to get that? Yep. Oh, for goodness sake. Light of hand. I'm going to talk with him just to see if he has any new lore to say. Sure. Uh, Welcome back, Traveler. Oh, he doesn't say anything more. He just says, Welcome back. So, he said, You sustain me. And he gives a heart to whatever lies in this bath pool. Is he just bathing in a guardian? Yeah. That he feeds periodically? I guess so. With his own citizens? Right? Yeah. Well, let's go beat this. We can definitely get this done tonight if we go face. Uh, feast? Feast? Now let's go to the labyrinth. The labyrinth. All right, because we still have the fawn world. There's another trait that requires you to run into a specific boss and then fight each other to the death instead of fighting him. What? That's hilarious. Yeah, it's called cold as ice. Uh, do we remember which which one? Um, their world is purple. Okay, Yisha Yisha is purple. Yeah. Okay. Yesha. I really. Oh yeah, shell, shell. Yeah. Uh, when you get up in here, mm -hmm. turn around and look at that. It's another portal. Yeah, there's an active portal up there. Um, that is, we have not. I want all the portals. I want to go to other worlds. Well, supposedly they're going to be adding more as DLC. Oh, I know. I, wanted... I, I want them to add more worlds. I just wanted to bring that one up because, like, it actually bothers me. I still think the story for this game is, like, kind of an extreme letdown. But now that we're playing it again, I'm still pretty damn positive about the gameplay. Like, it is a lot of fun. That well, portal also... goes to courses. Really? Huh? Wait, which one's courses? Wait, this one goes to courses? Wait, no. No, 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 no. That one up there. That active yellow portal up there, that is not Corsus. That is not Rom, and that is not Earth. That is some other portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Rom is Desert World. Corsus is uh, the Swampy Land, right? Yeah, that's something else. Unless that's the way to get back to Earth. No, no, the way to get back to Earth is over there, right? Yep. I guess I'll let you deal with the key. Okay. I could be wrong. I'll have to look at all the other portal entrances, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we've never been in there. Unless that's where the orange portal warps you up to, and then you walk over and go through that one? I don't know. Yeah. I feel like my character needs to be preaching. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit disappointed they didn't have... A uh, a voice actor for each of the genders for each of the starting classes. Because it'd be kind of fun if my character was just like... Preaching and ranting and raving about just wild stuff. <laughs> oh, we should probably upgrade our, our scythes because they're not very good. Yeah, the scythes won't be oh, well. good. Before the next boss fight. <sighs> I'd ever see one. Yeah. Might be kind of fun. I'm still disappointed there's no trait that increases your uh your maximum ammo capacity or like ammo gain. Mm -hmm. Or just gives like a very slight ammo regen. Ammo regen would be nice. Yeah, just like a yeah. little bit. But that would only make sense if ammunition was, say, an energy source as opposed to physical human bullets. I still don't understand that. How are we getting human bullets off of these creatures? If all the weapons that you were given were fueled by some kind of ethereal source and it was essentially life force, 
then that would make sense that when creatures died, they would leave little essences that became your ammo. Yeah. But no. I mean, I get it. It's a first-person shooter. Ammo is a good thing. I guess my my grump-ish is just like it feels unnecessarily restrictive sometimes. And I'm just like, but you could just not have ammo. Also, uh, the life essence thing would work for every single weapon. <clears throat> Not hmm. just, okay? oh, you only found sniper ammo, you only found pistol ammo, you are, <laughs> and then it's, but I, I just don't happen to have this particular type equipped at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. I'm mixed on it. I. That is, is that floating above the ground? It's like, it makes sense that you would have ammo in a, in a shooter game, just because, like, obviously in real life you would. Yes, but what I'm saying is that the ammunition would be something else. It would be ethereal life essence turned into plasma in a cool sci-fi weapon. Don't you see what I mean? Yeah, though. So, because hmm. it doesn't make sense to have metal bullets of human make that are compatible with the weapons you're currently carrying no, that's a good point. on another planet. And Borderlands has ammo regen. And by Borderlands 3, they've pretty much eliminated most ammo limitations. Like... Whoa. What? I think I just fired a stake through a guy. Ooh. It does a lot of damage. Coming back. We gotta... Couple of guys behind you. Shit! Mm -hmm. Problem solved. So the uh, so I'm, I'm using the Devastator yeah! crossbow, I think. Oh yeah, that's the crossbow. <laughs> the only reason why I wasn't taking it up was because it only has 25 ammo. But yeah, it's it's got 30 total. Which oh, there's a person over here. Someone to talk to. Yeah, looks like a merchant. So, oh, this is someone I'll new. I'll let you talk to him. What does it want? I don't think... Pixel Tech. I did not realize. Uh, what brings it so far from home? I'm looking for a man named Ford. A no. man? Other Pixel Tech? Ugh, I cannot help it. <laughs> but perhaps I can offer something else. I... Acquire things, Pixel Anything it needs, no matter how rare or dangerous. <laughs> Provided it does not ask the origins. I also deal in information. Should that interest it more. <laughs> She's calling me an it? Okay. What kind of information do you have? I hear many things a Pixel Tech would be interested in. Let me share with it my world secrets for a price. Oh, so she's like my merchant dude, except she's this world's merchant, right? Yeah. Here's some scrap. Tell me a secret. The Empress's palace is built around the Theon itself. Her throne rests at the foot of the great tree. She alone controls who receives the fruit. She alone knows of the tree's disease and says nothing. Well, we did know about that. Here's some scrap. Tell me another secret. The common pen rebel against the nobility. <laughs> it is said their rebellion was aided by Pexel Tech Hero. I hear rebel leader grew fond of the Pexel Tech. <laughs> so sad this story. <laughs> For Pixel Tech is gone, and not nowhere. Well, we already know that. Okay, here's some more scrap. Tell me it's another secret, but please make it a secret that everybody doesn't already know. It's rather kind of obvious. Our guardian is gone, destroyed by Pixel Tech like you. It removed our protector, trying to lure an enemy from its world to our own. <gasps> they say that is the reason the trees now rise against us. Wait a minute. So they say another Paxiltech, another human, 
remove the heart to try to lure someone tried to lure the root to this world by destroying its guardian hoping that it would abandon earth which it didn't do anything so do you think the goblin is another evil yeah, human? Yeah, who's the doctor that The was... other evil doctor. Yeah, yeah what, I forgot. whatever his his name his is. His name was a start of an H or something. I forget. Yeah, I've totally forgotten his name. I It'd be interesting if, if they actually do just add, like, more to this story. Because uh, for people that are watching this, you probably will miss the episode just because I don't think I'm going to put it up. It was not good. Uh, but we were quite incensed about... The last mission and also, like, kind of the ending of this game. And I would feel so much better if it turns out that the non-ending that they give us, and you'll see that at the end of this, if the non-ending of this game is, in fact, just a non-ending because they have more plans. That would be nice. Mm hmm It really did feel like it was half of a much larger narrative. Ooh. Okay, I'll... I'll ooh, a strange curio. How did you find that? It was in the back of the cart. Uh-huh. Okay. Here's some more scrap. Tell me a secret. The common pain rebel against the nobility. Wait, 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 wait. He said, I already I got this information. So sad this story. Really? What's, what's it, her name, by the way? It she doesn't say. I like to see your wares. Okay, so she has blood wart. Which is regeneration. A golden plum. Regenerates 0.21 health per second and lasts an hour and will stay in effect after death. Ooh. She also sells a spear and radiance equipment. Uh, I'll buy some golden plums. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not buying all 50 golden plums. No way. I just want three plums. Oh, she does have a spear. Yeah, buy the spear. Armor. <gasps> Ooh, cool looking armor. Yeah, radiant equipment. Critical hits increase crit chance. Oh and my crit gosh, damage for look two at seconds. this ring. It's worth a hundred thousand gold. Yeah, don't buy it. Reduces incoming melee damage by twenty percent. It's not that great. I mean, I don't have that much money. Oh, and apparently if we keep asking her, she has more to say. Okay, I have to sacrifice more scrap to her. I mean, do you want me to? Because I got 15,000. Okay, yeah, why don't you give her scrap? I wasn't... Okay. Wait, the like Empress's her. palace is built around Oh, we've the heard this. She alone... She alone... The Lemir inter oh. the dead of the pen, especially those of the nobility. But they work in secret, experimenting on those who had once eaten the fruit of life. This is at the Empress's behest. She seeks to learn the source of the tree's disease. Wait a minute. So the Lemir are the it mortician. The don't don't go don't yeah, go I'm for it. Yeah, I'm buying stuff while you talk. Okay. So the Lemire are the ones that are interring them, but they're also performing experience. So people that were once immortal and then died can be... Uh, is it possible that they can be made into undead yes, or has revived in a way that people that had never been exposed to the fruit have? That's probably the... Or... Okay, why don't you ask her more questions? Yep. I wasn't... The Empress's true name is Jinas. It was she who first found the Tree of Life and ate of its fruit, giving her eternal life. It is she who controls the nobility by granting scraps of immortality. Okay. The nobility enjoys long life thanks to the fruit of the Thean. But the fruit has gone bad, and the nobles worry. Yet they will not turn against their empress. The risk is too great. The nobility and But... Yet they will not... Ah, Pexeltech is generous, but I have no new secrets for it. 
Perhaps it would be interested in rare goods instead. Okay. So long as it I don't see the rare goods. It will tell me if it find. You might, but I don't see anything. N hmm? I don't see any rare goods. I think you found the rare good. <laughs> yep. There's a giant, like, arm in the back of her cart. Okay. Wait, what? I'm gonna look. Oh, whoa, it's a big mecha. Yeah, that's, like big that's mecha where I parts. found the weird thing. And look, there's a big mecha sword. Oh, I see. She's supposed to sell the armor after secrets, but bug. Oh. This is a cool spear. It'll make it so much easier breaking all this stuff. It's much more accurate. Yeah, because you can kind of aim it. I wasn't... It will tell... Unfortunately, the scrap behind her is going to be very difficult to pick up. I give up. It's just scrap. Reloading. Okay, let's rest for a second, get our ammo back. Okay. Oh, not save, kill enemies. So it's interesting that I, you didn't have the merchant in your playthrough. Nope. Like, I, I really she do appreciate this. She reminds me an awful this. lot of the merchant from the other land, though. The desert world. Yeah. This is the kind of game that if they wanted to add, like, a whole bunch to it... There's nothing stopping them. They can add more portals. Other other than money? Yeah, they yeah, like, that. You know... Oh, wow. This crossbow does horrid things to that guy. Um... If they had the the time and the funds and whatnot, what is you opinion? could actually I I could absolutely see, um, Gunfire Games turning this into like a really successful sort of franchise thing, because this is the first third person shooter Souls like I've ever played that's actually good. I've seen a lot of attempts, most are really really bad. Heck, most Souls likes are bad. The only good Souls likes out there that I know of. Are, oh, uh, you did a multi-shot? Yeah, it shoots five. They do about 120 apiece. Drop off. Like this, this thing hurts. How well did this game sell? Uh, oops, that was a waste. I, you know what? Most developers are pretty dang. Uh, they're tight-lipped about it. Yeah, they're they're pretty dang tight-lipped. Reloading. So hard to tell. You can pretty much tell whether or not a studio did well or not if they so, close up and lay off a number of their workers. Reloading. Yeah. That would be like Rooster Teeth and Blizzard and mm -hmm. a whole host well, of other things. Well, in Rooster Teeth's case, like. I'm not entirely sure if it's an indication that they're doing bad or if it's just like... Maybe ooh, they decided that video games weren't a good venture for them. Uh, ooh, can shine. somebody check the Steam page and tell me how many reviews there are for this game? And how positive they are. There are 9,000 people currently playing Remnant from the Ashes. And this came out... What? You can tell how many people are currently playing this game? Yeah. Ooh. So if there's 9,000 currently playing it, 8,000 positive reviews, 2,000 negative. So 10,000 total reviews, give or take, currently. And that's just on PC. I think this is also on multiple other consoles, like on PS4 and Xbox. Mm -hmm. Um. So general ballpark is for a game, 10% of the audience will leave a review for the game. If even. But this is usually how it works. Actually, I uh, I have I have a couple of things I can do to check this. Um, here, let's just rest at the checkpoint. Oh, yep. there's no dungeon here. That's interesting. Um, I think this is just letting us into a new zone. Yeah. 
But so if 10,000 at well, 10 cuz if there's 10,000 copies that means at least 100,000 Oh no, it, it's this is just This the, is the rebellion. This is just the rebellion. Uh this is probably fine. Uh so at least 100,000 copies is at 40 bucks a piece that's at least 40 million dollars. Um but not 40 million. Uh 4 million dollars on PC alone. My assumption is publisher takes X amount. Uh, let's see. And I, I realize this is like super ballpark bad math, but easily four million dollars my assumption is my my assumption is they made bank and uh, we'll probably continue to make more money as word of mouth continues and updates because I don't entirely know if it's going to be uh There we go. Uh, I don't entirely know if they're going to be doing... I know they're going to be doing free updates for a little while. Uh, Crap. But I think all new worlds will be, uh, will be paid. And so, yeah, if they just routinely added, like, effectively mission to packs to boss. this game... Yeah. New worlds, new lore... <laughs> New sub stories even continue the plot. I'm putting down a healing field here. Okay, I just used a healing item, but oh, it's one of the big guys. He bugged out. That's weird. Oh gosh, these these thunder things. Yeesh. I'm gonna have to run around. Approach from the other side. Oh, ho, ho, thousand Whoa, damage! Oh, yeah, yikes. Well, there's a spellcaster here. Not for long. We nope. Did it. That thing has some powerful bolts. But that's because we got that weapon from a lit boss that was later in the zone. There we go. Uh, we can skip this. Uh, I guess there's no cutscene. Speak, scene. outsider. Who is it you serve? <laughs> I serve whoever you do. Yeah, go with it. Navun serves none but the people. But you wouldn't know that, would you? I know your kind. You are Poxoltec. Outsider. Should I say, I, I know that we do the forward one. Yeah, go with it. Uh, should I do, is that good or bad? Yeah, go for it. Hmm, little of both. For now, good. The Paxeltech Ford aided our cause. It is for him I speak to you at all. But Ford is gone now. They question him to find us. Well, I need to find him. A queen keeps him in her ziggurat. Ziggurat is easy to find. Ford is not. It looks like these are the same questions as before. So should I just say thank you for a while? May you find what you seek. I always really liked her. Now, where was that lore that had been up here before? Scrolls on the side, like right here. I don't know if it's the same lore or if it will be different lore. Uh, I can't read it. Isn't that weird? Uh, well, I'm currently reading it. Here, try reading it. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Yeah, the Goblin King requested the gourd. 
Yeah, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I commend you, man. You keep up playthroughs on so many games. Can't bounce around like that. I, it's my job. It's a good job, too. Like, I was kind of stressing about it, but I think that's usually just because every time we're... Every time this part of the year hits, I'm just like, ah! Um, but it helps Where that there going? are so many Where good games. I, I'm heading for the exit. North, south, east, west? Can you uh, tell west. me? West, west, west. West, okay. It is a shame that there's no like little other way. That's east. Oh yeah, east. Uh, Got a little turned around. It's it's really nice that a lot of these games are legitimately good. If I were a pro Let's Player like 10 years ago, like if Let's Plays had existed in the 2000s era, things would have been real slim pickings until the indie market really took off. Sorry, it's taking me so long to get to you. That's yeah, fine. Stamina and all. Hmm. What was our verdict on Greedfall? Did we decide to drop it for lack of revenue from it? Uh, it wasn't even lack of revenue. It was dull. So, I'm going to look at... I'm just going to look out over this forest for a second. That scene right there is ten times more otherworldly than anything I saw in the first six hours of Greedfall. Six? Five? Four? Something like that? Like, look at this. Yeah, sure, it's just a forest, but it's so... Magical also, and like interesting just feeling. Characters like the Undying King. Hug the crystal. Coming, touch it. Coming out of that pool and talking with us about reviving his kingdom. Like that's infinitely more interesting than uh, we're colonials and we're going to go to a volcano island. I I don't know. It and so there's it's, probably a deeper story with the demon at the bottom of the volcano and a bunch of other things that they've implied, but the main female protagonist who's from one of these tribes is just like, hey, I need to talk to someone and then joins your party. What? Yeah, it's what? it's one of those where it's like, I actually thought Greedfall was a legitimately good game in the same vein. Ow. Uh, in the exact same vein that I think this is kind of a good game. There's a lot of indie charm to both. My thing is, um, this is co-op. This is a lot shorter. The worlds were interesting. The enemies were really interesting. Yeah, there were some really neat mobs in uh, in Greedfall too. My thing is, I can beat we this game. We are fighting humans all the time. Yeah, we're not fighting humans all the time. Did you just ow for fighting a hitting shell? Yeah. I can sympathetic ow. <coughs> Uh, let's see. So what was I going to say? Uh, it's like, I like Greedfall. It's a massive step forward for the, the studio. And, you know, I was glad to promote it for, it's, I think it's a six episode LP uh, before I stopped. And, you know, I, I'm thoroughly impressed with what they managed to get done. But the problem is, we ran out of steam before even seeing the island that we had spent hours attempting to get to. But yeah, at some point, if they release another uh, another one of their their games, I got a twofer. Whoops! I'm coming around the corner. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, if they if their next game is set in a more fantastical world. I will probably play the whole thing, especially if it's as good as, as Greedfall was. This is just so atmospheric in comparison. Mm -hmm. The other was just like a grassland with a dull sky and some bear weasels running after us. Yeah, and there were some cool critters. Like the, the first boss that you fight is legitimately inspired, and I really liked him. I just didn't like him. Oh, uh, shall I come back? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need health. Thanks. But I just didn't like the setting. Like, I love the idea of a colonial era fantasy world where magic is a big part of how the world operates. And so, yeah, if they had Magitek left and right, but it was like a uh, but early it looked like industrial Flintlock. era. Yeah. But like Magitek industrial era, 
that would be so cool. And I'd play that left and right, but it was weird. It was like a... It was like we were playing a, a fantasy game where they'd forgotten the fantasy, and that kind of lost me a little well, bit. Well, the other thing, too, was it still looked like British colonials with... I, I think there was another faction that resembled, say, the Ottomans or someone from the yeah. Middle East and such, and it was just... Uh, like, it's not even an alternate history or something, it's just... <laughs> Aesthetically, they looked like that. I don't know where this man is. He's hanging out right there, which makes him really hard to. He's. Get oh, at. oh, there's a, there's a flyer. I'm just gonna shank this man to death. Whereas in this game, there are fawn people. There were insects. There were people with really cool masked beings with four arms and a robot army. I. And look at this. Look at these beautiful danglies. Yep. Well, actually, they're not dangling. They're they're uplifted. But look at me. I'm I'm walking through them, and they're moving with me. And so, I guess the other this thing to beautiful. mention. This is beautiful. There's mushrooms everywhere. Okay? Look, there's mushrooms on that post. The other thing to mention is Greedfall was inherently going to be a 30 plus hour game, which is very difficult for me to cover. This game, we are going to beat two full playthroughs of it within 20 hours. Watch my back! And that's with side stuff and being slow and sitting around while we eat food and stuff. Uh, like... Okay, that's you. I'm uh, just looking around to see if there's any lore book. Yeah, this area is kind of devoid wolf. of it, unfortunately. Because if we can find the thing regarding the wolf... Then we'll know what oh, to do. These guys can. are susceptible to a solid spearing. Aha! Uh, but, like, honestly, this game has its own flaws. It's just, for me, I am so much more engaged. And, yeah, being able to multiplayer a game helps considerably. Boss portal up here. Okay. I just want to make sure that we've gotten to absolutely everything here. Mm-hmm.